Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be doing a long awaited storing photo cards video. I think this is my first storing photo cards video of this year, which is funny because it's been like two months already. Um, but I've just had a lot of other videos that I've been making. But I feel like I've stacked up not like a whole lot of cards, but a decent amount of cards. Enough to make a video today, so. These are the cards that I've gotten since like, I think like the beginning of December or something. So it's been a while. I'm really excited to finally be able to put these away. Um, and we're actually going to start in here. My little mini binder. I've just got four cards to put in this binder today. So in case you don't know, this is my binder of collections that I don't collect fully. I just keep the cards that I pull of like my bias from a group. So the first card I have is this Yuhyun from Dystopia, Road to Utopia. Uh, I went to a K-pop store a couple weeks ago and I got that album and I pulled this Yuhyun. Um, and I just think it's so pretty. So it was perfect to go in my binder. I still especially want Octo Yuhyun from Summer Holiday and I still don't. But um, the next card that I have is for Joy. Um, I have this birthday card. I actually bought this card just from Instagram, because I think it's so pretty. And in the two birthday albums that I have, I didn't pull Joy. So I was like, let me just buy. I'll just buy a Joy. And then I'm gonna put a white sleeve here to fill it in. I want more Joy photo cards. But Red Velvet is an expensive group, so I only have these three. Um, and then I'm gonna be putting a new mini collection or whatever in here, because in my photo card collection video I discovered or I didn't discover but I realized that I have these two Bungu and Bungu is my TXT bias and I don't want to collect TXT but if I did I'd collect Bungu and since I have these two Bungu cards I might as well put them in here so this one's from uh, Chaos Chapter Freeze and this one's from Thursday's Child just two cards but um, so yeah those are just the cards that I added to this mini binder today this initially was just supposed to be a Jake binder but now I have three other people in here, so um, anyway. Next, we're going to do my girl groups binder. So I have a tiny little stack for Serum. I found this um, person who was selling a lot of their Serum cards. A lot of the cards that I was prioritizing, so I bought them. I feel like whenever I have Serum progress, it's usually just like one or two cards, but I have like a decent stack. The first one is the last Talk and Talk card. Um, that I needed. So that actually finishes this page, which is a little crazy. I always thought that Talk and Talk cards were going to be the hardest cards to get since it's an out of print album, but I guess since it's still kind of recent, it's still way easier than like the cards on this page. So um, I finally have it finished. And I think that one actually might be my favorite one. I really like this pink one, but I think the red one's really cute. Let me get some water. Or should I get a cherry coke? I'm gonna go get a cherry coke. I've been really obsessed with Cherry Coke these days, so I had to take a Cherry Coke break. And then I finally have some more cards for from our Memento box. I think I have all but one of them. I have one of the Wish versions, and then the other Wish version is the only card that I'm missing for this album. So then I have the two Dream versions, which I'll do like that. It literally took me so long to get <laughs> progress for this page. Like, they're probably going to have a comeback soon. Actually, when is their comeback? It'll be the first comeback without Giddy, which is going to be so sad. I'm going to try to get this last wish card before they have a comeback. I'll make that a goal for myself. Because then I'll have the last four eras complete. I don't know what the problem is with the My Little Society cards, but... um, Oh, the backs are so cute! Those are so cute! These might be my favorite card backs, even though it's just a pastel color. <laughs> with like green on it, but whatever. Um, for Leah, I've got a few Cheshire cards to put away. I have all three of the cards that I needed for this page. So the neon card's gonna go in the center. And then I'll do like this. So this page is finished, the checkmate and then the beginning of Cheshire. And then I have this Cheshire standard card I should have the glasses one on the way, which is gonna go there. And then I have one of the limited cards, this red one, or orange or whatever, I don't know. I'm colorblind. And then I have one of the special edition cards, which 
I think is the B version. So that's going to go there. And then the person that I bought this card from just sent me like the concept. I think it's the message card. Yeah. Um, they just sent me this for free, but I'm not collecting them. But since they sent it to me, I wanted to keep it. So I'm going to put it on this page um, with my like extra Leah cards. I hope it actually, I hope it fits. It should if, yeah. So that's cute. Thanks to that person. That was really nice of you. And now I finally have some Cheshire progress. Um, for Leah, I like to try to catch up with her eras before they have another comeback. Um, but the special edition and limited editions that they did for this comeback, literally, it takes it out of me. Anyway, that's all for Leah. For Youngin, I've got a fancy little stack for Youngin too. Um, I'm finally finishing Zoo Blast. I traded this card for a Hikudu card that I had. At first, when we like DM'd about the trade, she didn't have the card on hand, so it took a little longer for the card to get to her, and then we traded it so the card had to get to me, so this one took a bit, but now I finally have Dublas done. So first impact, and Dublas is done for Yangin, which is exciting. So now I just have to worry about Troubleshooter, which I have a couple cards for today. I just need to look at what versions these are, because I have zero idea. Okay. Oh, I also... so. <laughs> As you can see here, I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to do for this last this last spot that I needed to fill. My original plan was to have the Daydream Circle card go here, but then I was like, I hate Circle cards, I don't want it. So then I was like, oh, I'll just buy a POB for this spot. But POBs are expensive. I don't really care that much about POBs, especially for Young because she's not like one of my old biases. So I've decided to just not collect something for that for now. Um, who knows what might happen, I might decide. If I see a really cheap pop, I might just buy it just to fill the page. But for now, I'm just gonna have it be an eight page pattern because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to spend money on a card that I don't really want. Because of that, hmm, I'm gonna have the Daydream versions go here because there's only two cards for that version. And then I'm gonna have the ID in the middle between the two midnight versions. So, so I have her Digipack card and then this K version card. Ooh. So that'll go here and there. And then I have this Midnight version card and then the ID, which is in the Midnight version. So that's why I have them together. So that will go he Ooh, here and here so yay kind of like with from our memento box from from us it's been a while <laughs> since this album came out so i feel good to finally have like cards for it i don't know when kepler's planning on having another comeback um, i might try to finish troubleshooter before then um but i won't be like distraught if i don't i only have two la seraphim cards for today because all of the cards that i've been buying for la seraphim haven't come in the mail yet um and they're both for anti-fragile i do have Kazuha's Frozen Aquamarine card. I went to Barnes & Noble, I don't know, a week ago. I bought one of the anti-fragile albums that they have. Even though I already had that version, I just wanted to get the photo card. And I'm very glad I did because now I have Kazuha's Frozen Aquamarine card. It would have been better if I pulled Dungeons just because hers is harder than Kazuha's to get. But really anything from Frozen Aquamarine is hard. So I'm glad to at least have pulled Kazuha's. Um, and then I also have this and Che from the compact version. So that's there. And those are literally the only two uh, La Seraphim cards I have. La Seraphim's <laughs> hard to collect so far, I will say. Um, but I do have all of these Weavers cards on the way and then like I have a couple other, I guess only two more. Like I've said, I feel like a million times I'm trying to take this one slow, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, I have Shion complete, so we can skip right past her. Um, this is my WJSN collection. I took the Xy postcard out because it was bothering me how it would always slip around and stuff. So I was like, it's not worth it. Um, but I did actually find a sequence album, the version that I wanted too. Um, so I'm going to cut that up and make a Unso cover out of. We got three cards for WJSN today. First is this Happy Moment Unso card. It's the Moment version. So it's going to go right here. This is the first non-sequence card for my entire and so collection. So I'm very happy, very excited. I really hope that I can get some progress on these other pages too. I think WJSN's backs are always really pretty too. And then I do have this 
and so card from the scene version of sequence so i am just missing this one but i think i found a trade for it today so we'll see if that goes through um because then in that case this page will be done and then i also have xe's jewel case which should go here um, but that's all for the girl group binder. Next is Luna, because Luna has its own binder now. Here's my Luna binder. So exciting. I need to go to my Luna wish list. So, the first card I have is actually for the first page. I feel like it's rare that I have a card for the first page. I have this Jin Soul from her solo. It's a reprint, so it's not first press or anything, but I'm not a stickler on first press. I think they're cool, but they're just more expensive. And since I'm collecting three members, I like to stay on the cheaper side of things. <laughs> but yeah, one more card for that page, so that's exciting. But I do have another Jin Soul card. I have her plus plus B version card. These B version cards are like harder than the A version cards, and then obviously multiply multiply cards, no matter the version are hard. So this page is not going to fill up very fast. I'm too scared to buy these cards. They're just so expensive. They're so expensive. I'm not made of money. And then for 12 o'clock, I have these last two Hyunjin cards. So I think I'm going to do it like that. I'm only missing one Jin Soul for this page. And then the B version will be complete. I feel like I'm kind of getting close with my Luna collection. At least my like... 12 o'clock and after section because <laughs> let's not talk about like pre-debut through hash i finally have hyunjin cards for this page i have these two for the c version i don't know i'm just gonna put these on the top and bottom because i think they all kind of look the same for this version so it does kind of bother me that these two have their cards taken outside and hers are taken in like an office well i don't know if that's an office but like indoors whatever it's not the end of the world um and then for and i have a c version card is this the c version yes oh my god i'm finishing the c version <gasps> no way oh my goodness <gasps> what is this my first full luna page this is my first full Luna page! Uh, oh my goodness! Okay, now I have to collect top six, because now I'm basically done with my top three. No, I won't. I won't collect top six. No one get their hopes up. Well, no. No one get their hopes up. For not friends, I finally have this last Jinsoul card I needed, and I actually bought this one from DNWM Teddy on YouTube. She's one of my favorite collectors to watch, because she collects OT12 Luna, so... Which, like, makes me want to collect my top six for Luna. <laughs> but I can't. If I collected top six, I would only do 12 o'clock and forward. I wouldn't do anything, like, I wouldn't do any of this. But still. Oh, wait, so that's another page I finished. I didn't even realize. Well, because there's no card here, but this page is done. This page is done. Things are happening. <gasps> is this the A version? Oh my god. A third page done. I'm going crazy. Someone stop me. Someone tie me up. I love flip that cards. Um, I have one B version card. Could you believe it? I don't think I've had B version cards since my first ever storing photo cards video after flip that came out. I think. I could be wrong. And this one's actually going to go in the bottom row too. Fun fact though, I bought a Hyunjin for this page and another Kim Lip for this page. And then also a, a Jinsoul for the D version. This one from someone on Instagram. And it's been like a month and they still haven't sent out and they won't answer my dm so i think that they're scamming me but they literally have nine highlight proofs or proof highlights sorry so i don't know why they would just start <laughs> deciding to scam people now but i'm so distraught because i thought i got so lucky by getting two more b version cards and then the last c version i needed for jinsel but whatever is there a hair oh it's her hair <laughs> i literally thought that hair was my like a cat hair or something but that's her hair that's so silly. Okay. Ooh, I should have this C version for Jinsoul on the way too. So then this page will be done. Um, and then I have these last two Kim Lip and Hyunjin cards. Wait, I'm like basically almost done with flip. Well, ignore the B version, but. Oh, sorry, Eve. I forgot that I had Eve back there. So Eve goes behind this Hyunjin. Perfect. 
and then this Kim lip, which was like a hard card to get for some reason. It's definitely my favorite D version Kim lip card. So maybe people just thought it was cute. Like I said, I should have this card on the way. I bought it with my real life money, but the person won't answer me. So I'm hoping that they're just having a bad week and they're gonna answer me in a few days. Um, Cause if they answer me and I get these two cards and this card, and then this trade like goes through, or I think I bought this one and this, I get this card that I'll only be missing one Hyunjin, one Kim Lip, and then these two Gen Soul. And then I'll finish flip that. Cause goddamn, why are these cards so hard to find? I have nothing for Luminous. I'm about to give up on Luminous. I just can't. Um, I have some Nana album for Kim Lip, so I'm gonna grab another nine pocket. I have Kim Lip's full set for the Soul um, trading card things. Um, I joined a group order for Kim Lip set, and then I also wanted to get Hyunjin set, and I did get Hyunjin set. I got all of her cards except for the damn cat one, which is the whole reason I claimed Hyunjin set, but I got this Jin Soul instead. I don't collect that album for these two girls. The only reason I claimed Hyunjin's was so I can get the damn cat one. I don't know what to do with these. I might sell them, or I might keep them. I don't know. They're cute. I just don't collect that album for Hyunjin or Jin Soul. Anyway, I do have all of Kim Lips. So I'm just going to fill out this page. I think it should be seven cards. Um, I kind of already put them in order about how I wanted them. I want to like, if they were wearing the same outfits, I wanted those cards next to each other. I'm almost out of white sleeves. I only have one left. I need to buy some more. But anyway, I'm really happy that I have orange Kim Lip because she's so cute. Now I have three pages of Kim Lip Not Album. To be fair, a lot of them are from like Seasons Greetings sets, so they basically come all together. And this was like a trading card set. But still, um, and that's all I have for Luna. Next, we have NCT. I don't have too many cards, just a couple. I have one Two Baddies card. Do I even know what it is? No. This is not Two Baddies. This is Two Baddies. What card is this? This is his Digipack International card. Great. I did join a group order for his Japan cards, the Digipack and the photo book. And then I actually just DM'd somebody today about the photo book Korea card. So if all of those go through and like the go works and stuff, I will only be missing the special version cards. Oh, these, I forget what these are. I also think that I'm going to change around the layout of these pages because I kind of want the matching outfits to be next to each other, but I think I'm going to wait until I get all of the cards and then I'll figure out what cards look the best where. I should have both of these on the way. I did just find trades for them, so hopefully those will be in my next Storing Photo Cards video. And I have nothing for Jimin, but I do <laughs> have this Jisung Hello Future card. Uh, my friend dropped her Jisung collection. So I bought this card off her because I think it's really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it though. I think it's his future card. I'm just gonna move him there. And then I'll do the two Kinos next to each other. Or no, 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 no. I'm gonna have his hello cards next to each other. And then his hello agent card, his other Kino card, his future card, and then Jisung's future card. And normally I would put cards like this. Oh, hold on in my non-collection binder, but since I have extra room on my Hello Future page, I'll just, I just did the same thing that I did with Jeno <laughs> and just kept him here. I totally lied. I think I said I had nothing for Jamin, but I have candy cards to put away. I need to get another nine pocket. I didn't set up for candy. I like forgot about it. And I don't have white sleeves. What am I gonna do? Okay, since I don't have white sleeves, I'm just gonna leave them blank for now, which is kind of ugly, but I'm gonna get them soon, so. I will put white fillers though where like the actual photo cards are gonna go i have his digipack and his s mini his smini card um and i should in theory have his other two on the way because i found trades for them both oh wait no this is his digipack so it's gonna go down here and then the smini card will go here i don't know how to say that but the special card's gonna go here and then his photo book card's gonna go here. And I'm not gonna make sticky notes for them just because they're on the way, so. And then once I get more white sleeves, I'm gonna fill up the page with white sleeves, but for now, it's gonna have to look like this. I got one more thing for this binder, for this page, like my extra cards. I joined a Go for my candy album. The Gong got them from K-Town. 
So I got this Jamin K-Town pop. So I guess I have to rearrange this page. Um, a lot of Jamin on this page. I also don't have any Johnny, which is like kind of funny, but... I'm gonna put Hendry up there just for now. So that's that. I've got nothing else for Jamin today or for NCT, I guess. Um, I am also thinking about picking up more, more members of NCT, but I think I'm gonna wait because I think whenever that new unit debuts with Sangchen and Shokuno, I might collect um, one of those guys. And as always, last but certainly not least, we have my Twice binder. Yeah, this binder is definitely getting full. I don't know what I'm gonna do for when Ready to Be comes out. I've also had people asking me if I'm gonna collect OT9 for that album. To answer your question, not really sure. I think so. Um, I am kind of waiting for the, the concept pictures to come out. Um, Cause if they're like good concepts and that will like solidify for me that I definitely want to collect OT9. Probably is the answer to that question. Regardless of whether or not I'm collecting OT9, I will be filming an unboxing. So anyway, to get on to like what we're actually doing in the video. Um, I do have this one Daihyun pink signal card, which goes on this page with the Twice Coaster Lane 2 cards. Because my idea was pink, yellow, pink. Um, and the pinks don't really match, but whatever. It's just the best way, in my personal opinion, to lay them out so I don't have to have um, fillers or anything. But I have two more signal cards. I have Nyon and Sana's Hollows. I have no self- oh wait, oh my god! Pause! What am I thinking? Was no one gonna stop me? Why was I putting Daihyun in Nayeon's spot? Hello? You guys were just gonna let me do that? I bet at least three people were already drafting their comment as soon as I put it in there, so I appreciate you guys' help. But anyway, that was a close one. Um, I have no selfies for either of these two, but at least I have their holo card, which are cute, so... And I like the back of these ones, those are so cute. And then I have some Merry and Happy cards. I have two Nyon cards, the green border and the white border. And then I think I have two more Merry and Happy cards on the way. One of them's a Sana card, one of them's this Sana card actually. And then the other one, I can't remember. I think it's either this Nyon or it's this Dahyun. Or maybe, no wait, oh wait, I keep doing the wrong thing. Oh my God, okay. This doesn't go here, this goes here. It's confusing because I have it white and then blue. And so this is a white border, I put it with the white cards, but it's supposed to be blue because the background. So that's kind of, I made it confusing for myself when I was labeling these, but. Anyway, I think it's either one of these two that I have on the way and then this sauna. Today, I am gonna be finishing What Is Love. I have all of the cards that I need to fully finish this album. It was only three cards. I have all three of them here with me. So first things first, this Da Hyung card, here she is, beautiful as ever. This page is done. Beautiful. This page has already been complete. For this OT9 set, if you could believe it, I finally have this Chewy card. I thought I was never gonna get this card, but one of my followers actually DM'd me and sent me a post with this card and was like, if you still need it, here's Chewy. And I was like, oh hell yeah, I still need it. So I DM'd that person. It was available, they sent it to me. Here it is, ah! here it is. So if that person who DM'd me the link to this post is watching, thank you so much, you saved my life. Um, because now look at that. Look at that beauty. I'm so happy. And then the last what is love card that I needed for <laughs> what is love is my own signature card. So now I have all of my what is love cards done, put away, finished. This is the first album that I have complete that's not one of their most recent eras and that's not page two. I think page two was one of the first albums I actually completed for twice. This is one of my favorite albums photo card wise so it was really fun to collect. I'm kind of sad that it's over but <laughs> who knows I might collect OT9 soon <laughs> so then I can come back to it but anyway I don't want to dwell on this too much. I feel like I take too much time talking about things but for summer nights 
I have, oh, I actually have two, who knew? <laughs> I have these two Daihan cards, which both go on this page. So her name card. And then her glitter border card, which I thought was also gonna be kind of hard to get, but it wasn't too bad. And I should have Sana's glitter border on the way as well. I wanna finish Summer Nights because I feel like I'm not missing too many cards. What is it, five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess I forgot about the OT9 sets. So seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Okay, but ten's not bad. I've got nothing until fancy. I have two cards for this page. I have this line border for Daihyun. Um, Fun fact, I just got a fancy album for my birthday. Um, and I pulled this Daihyun, and at first I was like, oh, damn it, I already have this Daihyun, so what, what a waste. I'm just going to have to trade it. But then I realized I don't have that Daihyun. I have this line border Daihyun, and I got them confused because they were both line borders. So we were all clear. I don't actually have this card, obviously. Now I do, though. And then I also pulled this Nyon card. So two out of my five cards that I pulled in my Fancy album were like new cards that I needed from my collection, which was great. And now Nyon's done for this page, which is so exciting. And then I have like quite a few cards for this OT9 set actually. I think I have everyone except for Mina, which it's like kind of funny because it wasn't like I was prioritizing this set in particular. I just think I got a lot of offers on these cards for trades and stuff. Just like coincidentally all at the same time. And this Cheong has like a little mark on her, but I don't really care that much, so. I just need this Mina. Oh, this set is so cute. I have one feel special card and it's this Dahyun, which will go here. Um, I really wanna finish my feel special album collection so then I can really like focus on these photo cards because feel special have some of my favorite photo cards as well, especially these two sets are so pretty. And then I have two cards for more and more. Um, I feel like I talk about in like literally every single storing photo cards video how hard more and more is. But I made an ISO post on my Instagram for the four cards that I was missing. And I had someone DM me and say they had these two um, Sana and Daihyun cards. Um, so I bought them from them. And then so I remade an ISO post for the two Nyons that I'm missing. So far no biters, but this Sana card is so pretty. I kind of get the hype around this one. I kind of get why it's harder to get, but <gasps> finished page. Um, and that's all of the photo cards. Whoops! All of the photo cards I have today. Um, I think I made a lot of good Luna progress today. That's probably the highlight of this video for me. So let me know what the highlight of this video was for you. <laughs> oh, also finishing What is Love. That was a pretty big highlight. This Chewy card! So yeah, I'm gonna finish up the video on this page so you can all admire it while I say goodbye to you. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love reading and responding to comments, so that's always fun. I have no idea what my next YouTube video is going to be. <laughs> Maybe setting up for Twice's comeback. We will see. I also did pre-order Stacey's Teddy Bear mini album, or I guess single album, because that's all they know how to make apparently. Um, and I will probably do an unboxing on my channel when those come, so I will see you guys later. I love you. Bye.